Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Think are you? Dumb. Hey, Couture Bays. It's your girl, Brooke Brock, going live with the Retalk and Bay Squad. We got to talk about y'all favorite hip-hop mysteries. We got to talk about Kaya and Ice Cube's thought on the music industry and more. But before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fifth week of water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? So, woo, child, Bay Squad. Lotto did an interview with Double XL, which is really good for her because we haven't seen her do anything pivotal this year. And she stated in this interview that she is above the hip hop beef and fans caused her to have rifts between major artists and i'm like girl take some accountability you leaked an audio recording of you and Nicki minaj to beyonce's internet and then decided to bring up her family and trash her and then you proceeded on to have these subliminals against sexy red ice spice and everybody else who worked with Nicki minaj girl if you was on top you would not be doing this right now you would not say i'm better than the hip-hop beefs i told y'all when she tried to weaponize me too to sell some albums she was trash i knew then she didn't understand her sound or her presence but let's get into kaya shall we always have been but when i said that and went on got on her neck way 2000 everybody yeah. was like oh i'm a hater oh i'm jealous oh but time done told it time telling on a lot of these motherfuckers see when i was saying them hoes was fucking and sucking niggas for beats and fucking trina and all jackie yo and all the rest of these hoes <laughs> and i was saying oh i write my own stuff oh i make my own beats oh i don't fuck niggas oh i'm the queen of the south because i am because i write my own shit and i'm doing this and these hoes doing blah they squad they getting pissed and shit on and fucking niggas and threesomes again fucking their ass and eating ass but when i was right. saying that 20 years ago i'm bitter i'm a hater how can she say she's the queen of the south she ain't did nothing bitch yes i did i wrote and produced my my own shit. I carry myself like a motherfucking lady, bitch, and I respect myself. I ain't out here eating niggas' ass and letting niggas piss and shit on me for motherfucking beats. But I, I, I'm jealous and I'm bitter and I'm a hater and I ain't the queen. See, I've been moving like a queen for 25 years. These hoes been moving like hoes, but now that y'all can see, you know, I think y'all owe me an apology. They owe you an apology, queen. See, I told y'all what these hoes were doing, and I was walking around with my nose tooted up to the sky and act like, uh, uh these bitches are using it beneath me. Y'all don't know they fucking each other. The niggas is gay. They're... I'm a hater. Silence her. Don't book her. She's bitter. But now y'all see, time done told it. Just like Funky Feet Don Neva, when I seen that nigga snorting that pot, snorting up Peru, and he was acting like I was invisible sitting there. I guess he thought I was one of them. See, and I said, oh shit, this nigga don't see me sitting here. He's snorting up mountains of goddamn tired dish uh, washing powder. But he said I was all kind of lying, ugly ass, black ass bitches. Time done told it. Now he want to tell his own secret. You ugly ass, Funky Feet motherfucker. I think you owe me an apology too. Woo child, I don't know if this is true or not, but everything Kaya has said has came to fruition. I do remember Janet Jackson treating her poorly. I do like Kaya. She's one of the most sampled female rappers. So I love her takes on the music industry. But let's get into Ice Cube, shall we? Same people who own the labels own the prisons. Literally the same people? Literally the same people who own the labels own private prisons. The records that come out are really geared to push people towards that prison industry. But they didn't make you write those lyrics. It's not about making somebody write the lyrics. It's about being there as guardrails to make sure certain songs make it through and certain songs don't. You know, some records are made by committee, you, meaning record company guys sit around and tell the artists, this is hot, say that, do this. We're gonna have this guy write the lyrics. We're gonna have that. You have, you know, the record company pushing the narrative, you know, and somewhat, uh, you know, some social engineering going on here to make sure those prisons stay full. Again, I don't know if this is true or not, but I do believe there's some validity to the statements he is implying because Kanye West said it in his new slaves. But what are your thoughts on this base squad? What are your opinions? Comment down below. I gotta go. Bye, hoes.